this out. Got my office in a state of disrepair after a whole year. She is all kinds of screwed up. Just open up the closet. All of this stuff was in the closet yesterday. But I decided maybe having a closet that was functional was a good idea. Now the mission is to go and put the winter wheels in the Tesla. So I've got a service appointment tomorrow to get them put on. And here in Minnesota, it's starting to get icky outside. So I've got it all ready. The seat's folded down. She's got an obnoxious amount of cargo space. So now that's where I gotta go. The wheels are all the way over there on the other side of this sweet PT Cruiser. Oh, looks like I'm gonna need to get a ladder up. Great. We sold the family farm a while ago, last year, and uh, we've got stuff from my dad's place, my sister, as well as some of my old stuff, all at my place. Which is why I don't have a three car garage anymore. Not really, anyway. But that's okay. Just gotta help out the fam. One of these days I'll actually go through this. A lot of stuff I don't need. Like a pressure cooker. Why do I have a pressure cooker? Lug nuts, can't forget these. Huh, my mic ran dead. So, fresh new battery. better. That's better. These things are still heavy though. One more. Maybe it'd help if I move this. Done. I'm gonna put everything to sleep. And I'll deal with that in the morning. Good night, PT. I love you. But I can grab my stuff. I hate the mornings. I absolutely hate them. Nothing is worse than waking up. I guess 
not waking up would be worse. So, there's that. off to uh, get my headshot updated. It's been a while since I've gotten one of those and uh, my company needs it for their website so I'm gonna get a couple and see if I can get creative. Let's do it. JC Penny Portraits. I probably hit up a photographer buddy of mine for headshots but these had to be done rapidly. Oh. Huh. Looks like I'm three minutes early. Okay, it's 10.03. I'm a little annoyed because it's so cold outside. What's the temperature? 29 degrees. See that? If it was 70, I wouldn't mind hanging outside so much. But it's not 70. It's freaking freezing out here, Mr. Bigglesworth. I booked up this morning doing photos for cute kids. I know where I lie in the priority line when it comes to cute kids. So I'll come back in a couple hours. So that took like 18 minutes. Not really impressed with the result, including the sitting fee. That was 80 bucks, $85 plus including tax. Their lighting was okay. They didn't have like a, a ring light, which is one of the photos they really wanted to be lit via ring. And the images that they send me are gonna be high resolution JPEG, but without RAWs, I really can't do much to it. So this is one of those things where if I had, if I had more time, I'd spend 80 bucks, well, plus another three, 400, and get a background and some lights, but I don't have the time. So this is what you do. Meh. Okay, so Tesla called me. <clears throat> they said that the vibration that I was feeling, which is why I brought it to the service center, was still being looked at. They confirmed it, and they're doing some more diagnostic stuff. So, I'm gonna take the loaner back home. I don't mind, it's just, uh, it's always nice to know that when I felt something funny that it wasn't just me. I feel a lot of funny things. Giggity. Cindy. Dust are there. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye
Come on, come on, Indy. All right, let's go. Silver though. Here's something that's interesting. I have a uh, 90D, which has an EPA rated range of 294 miles. This one is an 85. Uh, Non dual motor with an EPA rated range of uh, whatever I forget. So 257 or so miles on a full charge. It was fully charged last night. 260 um, before the range went down a little bit overnight. Um, I have 271 under a full charge. Um, it used to be 294, but it's gone down to 271 after I put 40,000 miles on it, it's a loss of about 8%. I'm really a little bummed out that I have that extra battery, um, but I only have 11 miles of extra range out of it. So anyway, just a little, a little criticism. For a long time. Got it updated, uh, software update, winter wheels and tires put on it. Uh, they replaced the front half shafts because of a service bulletin that they had out. Now I'm on my way back home. This is where the Tesla is really a lot of fun because we have bumper to bumper traffic and the autopilot is driving for me. I'm just gonna sit here and uh, listen to an audiobook. A little bit thankful that I don't have to, you know, use the controls. People complain about autopilot or I just want a car that drives myself and all that. And you know, I hear you, man. I my last car was a CTSV wagon with a stick. Um, I hate automatic transmissions. I I mean that level of automation I'm not a fan of. But when the car doesn't make you have to deal with this bullshit, it's pretty freaking sweet. This guy in the Audi over here. Gotta drive myself. 